Do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how simple it is to rip your PlayStation 2 game. Maybe you want to make a backup of your game so you can play on your PS2, or you just want to save it so then you don't scratch the original game. So we're going to use DVD Decryptor. You go to the more info section, I'll have a link there where you can download it and then you install it. So let's go ahead and run it right now. And I have a game right now in my DVD drive. We're going to rip We Love Katamari today as an example. So here's the DVD Decryptor program when it comes up. What I want you to do is go to Mode. Go to ISO and go to read mode, okay? So it comes up like this. Now you put in your game, right? Now you say destination, so let's select a folder to where to dump it. So let's go to my one of my partitions here, and I'll just dump it here. And I'll just give it a name like um, Katamari as an example. Then you click on this button here, and it'll rip it. So ripping is pretty easy. The PS2 DVD game structure doesn't really have any game protection. So once you start ripping it, it could probably take, you know, four five six minutes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video momentarily and then once it is done I'll show you how to actually burn the game it's pretty simple as well alright so we are back and here it is it's gonna be done just about now alright so it's successfully completed so let's go ahead and eject the PS2 game from your DVD drive or Blu-ray drive or whatever you're using and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a blank DVD plus R but you could use a DVD minus R if you so desire as well. So what's going to happen now is you wait for it to um, recognize your blank DVD disc. Once you have done that, and I'll just wait for it a little bit here, we're going to change the mode from read mode to write mode. Now, I'm not going to actually write the game because I already have a backup copy, so let's go to mode, go to ISO, and go to write. Okay, so here it says my supported write speed is 6, 8, 12, and 16. So I'm going to pick the lowest speed, which is be 6x. Do not use 1x or 2x. I highly recommend if you can do 4x. If you can't, then do 6x. So let's go ahead and select the file. So let's go ahead and select the katamari.iso, for example. And then write speed, I'm going to select 6. X. And then if I want to, I click on this button here, it will actually write the image to my blank DVD. But I'm not going to do that because I already have a backup copy of it. And that is the tutorial in a nutshell. Pretty simple. So if you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you've got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.